Hey guys, what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin. And yes, that is my computer breathing very heavily because I am exporting this week's video. Doing its little thing, kind of sounds like me after a variation. Today's video is super exciting. I feel like it's gonna help me as a person and as a dancer improve. This video will be in collaboration with the confident dancer. Yes, the one and only Kirsten Kemp. She's just a beautiful person, a beautiful human being, and she happens to be a dance mindset coach. Dancing is so much a mental battle, just as much it is a physical one. I thought it would be a really interesting kind of experiment to see what a week working with a mindset coach would be like. It could positively impact my training and my progression as a dancer. So, Today, I have my very first session with her. I'm about to jump on a Zoom call. She said for our meeting, just to have like a few things that I'm wanting to work on mindset wise, personally myself. I think I've spoken about it in other videos, but something I wanna get better at is learning when to take a step back and when to push. Learning that if something doesn't go completely to plan in a day, not to completely cave in. I have one minute to go till our meeting starts and I'm, I'm pumped, let's go! Totally me not trying to put my away right before the meeting starts. It's the end of the long week guys, there's a lot to do. Sometimes you've got to multitask. Hi! Oh my gosh, how are you? I think what you're doing is absolutely incredible. I'm so excited for this coaching session and I can't wait to see how it's gonna help me in my dancing and hopefully help others as well who might be watching this video. How do, how do, how do these things start? Let's, let's get going. Great question and thank you so much. Thank you as well for your willingness to try this and your enthusiasm. I will just be asking you questions to draw out insights. And once we resolve the root of it, we'll go towards the action phase of what are the strategies that are going to help you create that success. I can visualize the dance that I want to be. I feel like my plan is the my path to get there. If I'm not taking a step on that path every day, then I'm never going to get to that what I could be. Your strategy for feeling like you're on track by setting a plan, being clear on your goal, that is good. I want to validate that that is a good thing. So of course you would want to keep doing that. And then there's an extent to which since it's worked for us. As humans, naturally, we're going to want to exploit that to the nth degree to an extent that actually starts to work against us. And here's where I want to start to invite you into an experimental, playful attitude with this. What if we approach the shift that you're wanting to create today from a place of experimentation and playfulness? This attitude of, let's just see. That was insane. Wow. I feel so lucky to have just had that experience. So much to think about. Thank you so much, Kirsten. And I got to work straight away on what me and Kirsten talked about. In fact, that night I actually went out with my flatmate, Reagan, and we kind of spontaneously did this mini golf adventure and it was so fun it wasn't necessarily something i had planned in advance but i really enjoyed it and then on monday morning i did my homework that cousin had given me and thought about some of the questions that we had talked about in our session when you set a plan for yourself and you accomplish it for the day what does that give you how would you like to redefine your own measure of success for each day. Oh, make it a bit more even. Don't know if the shot's working for me. Let's try that. It is now Monday. It was amazing talking to Kirsten. So many things that I didn't realise around the planning, how much of my kind of insecurities kind of came out through my relationship to my plan. It's a huge part of why I have been successful, but at the same time, make me not enjoy like aspects of life that I really want to enjoy. Set me like little tasks to do throughout this week. I'm gonna kind of build on them and so goals that I'm gonna set myself for this week. Those are mindset goals, not just physical goals. What is your measure of success at the end of the day? Kind of defining 
what success is for me. So maybe that's a question you can ask yourself. One of the negative things that I define as success is that feeling of exhaustion at the end of the day. And so I'm trying to really define that success as, yes, working hard, but also being able to survive the whole week. Sometimes I get so exhausted by Friday. Really hard today. And feel fulfillment from the fact that, you know what, I enjoyed my work today. And my second goal for success not allowing negativity in my own brain, like self-sabotage, to come in and ruin my day. Combating those negative thoughts, if I've overcome even just one negative thought in a day, let's define that as success. So those are a few things that I'm going to try and implement this week. I really enjoyed doing this journaling. I have to make me think about the values that I place on things. I definitely realised that some of the things that I was valuing as success and fulfilling me at the end of the day maybe weren't the healthiest and then she also set me the task of thinking about approaches to enjoy myself this week allowing my plan to be flexible according to what i may be feeling mentally and physically is an approach i'm going to take to enjoy myself and not being chained to the plan i love creating i love making my youtube videos but often I get so tired in the evening that i don't have any energy for and then it feels like a task i don't enjoy it this week's quite busy at the company so i can't necessarily do this but on weeks where it's quieter maybe prioritizing time to really enjoy making that content and not make it feel like a stress kula pokey do you know i love my acai bowls from kula pokey they bring me so much joy so i will definitely make sure to go to kula pokey this week the, the, the peanut butter the almond butter just remember that. <laughs> if that's what brings me joy i should definitely treat myself at some points this week that is what we're implementing today for the mindset i will let you know how it goes this week yeah Let's see how it goes. I did not get off to the best of starts this week. I was running behind the plan right from the get-go. So in class, I felt a little bit stressed out and overwhelmed. I would broken some new point shoes, but I just was not on my leg and did not have the best class. So today really hasn't gone to plan. I'm pretty good at sticking to plan, but today there was an extra meeting that I hadn't seen on the call sheet and then there was extra things I didn't get done last night that I needed to get done this morning and so I've been feeling a little bit like anxious the whole day but I'm trying to give myself grace time to think if I don't get everything done that I needed in my plan there's always tomorrow there's time there's time think about like not doing hours and hours of practice but try and make them more efficient is also something that we talked about I'm gonna practice now I have about 45 minutes less than I wanted to have Let's practice. So the practice I actually got in was really good and I felt like I made some really significant gains. For example, I've been trying to get clean pirouettes from fifth and I've managed to do quite a few triples. So I was super excited about that. And actually my rehearsals went pretty well the rest of the day. I had a photo shoot, which was really fun. And then I had this moment of feeling very overwhelmed because I was trying to upload a YouTube video and my computer was running out of battery on my sleeping globe pillow. I've just been editing all the Instagram content for that collaboration that I did with them. So I'm tired, I just feel like I've been just on the go all day. But today my plan just went right out the window because I forgot that I had that meeting. So everything I planned just evaporated. It normally really throws me and it did unfortunately throw me a bit today. I'm trying to remember everything that Kirsten said and I tried to be efficient in the things that I did do. I think maybe the problem with today is I just tried to do too much overestimated how much I could get done in the space of a 24 hour period. To be honest, I know I, I do that quite often. Do I feel fulfilled and successful? Well, let's look at the positive side. I don't feel unfulfilled and unsuccessful. I just feel like straight in the middle road. And my measures of success that I gave myself this morning was enjoying what I was doing. Because I was rushing around so much, I felt like I wasn't fully present in any particular moment because my mind was always like, I've got this to do and that to do. And I was finding it really hard to compartmentalise. I didn't feel like I did that very well. Wow, it doesn't sound like I had a successful day at all. Now I'm going to convince myself that I haven't been successful and I shouldn't feel fulfilled. So I'm going to go to sleep. This is a really interesting journey to document. I hope you're finding this interesting. So after a pretty crazy Monday, I tried to go into Tuesday with a little bit of a calmer mindset. I am currently trying out some new pairs of shoes. I'm just experimenting and seeing if there's potentially something that could work better for me. So this was something I played around with as there was not as many studios available today and I had a lot of rehearsals. So I used the spare time I had in the dressing room to try on some new pairs.
really tired today. I'm too tired to move out the studio. Comment down below if you can relate. Man, my hair is like a mess. What is going on? It is Wednesday and yeah. The plan this week has really not been working. That's instead about you know, not finding the fulfillment through completing the plan, but finding where I derive my areas of success. My only problem is the goals I set myself for success, I feel like I haven't really been doing well either. So does that just make me a failure all, all round? Uh, obviously we spoke about it. Normally you do these sessions over a few months. You try this like I'm doing now. You go back with so much more knowledge of like, oh, this worked, this didn't. I feel really overwhelmed. I think this week I kind of bit off a little bit more than I can chew. I had some really good news last week and I think I've just been on a bit of a high and now I'm starting to feel a bit of the crash after the high. So I think that's mixing with it too. Yeah, one of my goals was not to reach the point of absolute exhaustion by the end of the week. Well, we've achieved that one because I reached it at the beginning of the week. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. I will get better at this. I will. I'm determined. That's where we're at on a Wednesday morning. On this particular week, I had a ton of rehearsals with the company. Some weeks we have loads of rehearsals and some we have hardly any. And what was particularly interesting about this week is that we actually had the option to do some contemporary classes with the choreographer who's coming in to set a piece. And so this morning I did the contemporary class. So I decided to come in early and do a ballet bar for myself just because I always like to have done some sort of classical training every day just to keep my body ticking over. I also was continuing my hunt for the new shoes and trying them out, seeing how they looked. One great success today is I went out and socialized, which wasn't in my plan, but I really enjoyed it. So another morning where I'm sitting and talking to you, this week has been a bit of a whirlwind. I think I've spoken about it in some of the other clips. I don't even know what I've filmed, to be honest. I don't feel like I've vlogged very well this week. Feeling of just constant overwhelmment, so many emotions, so many thinking about investments I want to make, things I want to do with my business and my YouTube, but then I've got so much going on at work and I just feel like a crazy whirlwind of things not bad things just a lot of things so i feel like i'm not able to focus on anything individually so i texted Kirsten this morning and i was like do you have anything that i can think about for this feeling of just constant overwhelmment and she gave me some really great journaling things that i did this morning like what is the most important to me and what can i let go of at the top of my list at the moment so for me i have a youtube video that i really need to edit but we actually have rehearsals for this piece that we're doing in the choreographers in at the moment. So I need to prioritize that over anything else right now. This morning I was originally planning to maybe edit my video and now I'm gonna study that piece instead. So I was like, which one do I do? I don't have time for both. I decided and I'm clear about my vision for that. Is there anything I'm telling myself I have to do that I don't really? Trying out some new pairs of point shoes at the moment, just experimenting. But it's not necessary, so if I don't feel like trying out those new pair today, I'm not going to put the pressure on myself to do so. If I want to, I can, but that was causing me quite a lot of anxiety. What is the best version of myself that I want to show up with in the midst of this? The first thing that came to mind is I want to be organised, focused and concentrated, which I don't feel like I have been the last few days. I've been a little bit like, but that's the Hannah that I want to show up to work today. And I also don't want to take myself too seriously. I do feel like most of the time I take myself way too seriously. In a week's time, a lot of the things that I'm worrying about taking so seriously, I'll probably laugh about. So why can't I laugh about them right now? That is how I'm battling my feelings of being a little overwhelmed. Yesterday had a success. I went out with some dance friends in the middle of the day, which is totally not usually in my plan. I don't like going out in the middle of a work day. I prefer just to do all my work and then go out afterwards so I can stay super concentrated. It was a little bit out of my plan. I found myself really enjoying it. Actually, I think my rehearsal went better because I had a little bit of time outside my concentrated bubble. That was a success. This video is taking all sorts of turns, but I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, make sure to give it a thumbs up. This is Thursday, one more day to go of the work week. This week has just gone so fast. And we were on to Thursday and I did in fact try out the new shoes in this class. Kind of regretted it afterwards because they felt so different and I didn't feel like I necessarily danced my best. But I am really trying my hardest to experiment and again push myself out of my comfort zone to see if I can find something that fits my foot shape better. After about 
four, five, six hours of rehearsal, I tried to do my own little session, but I honestly felt so tired. And in hindsight, perhaps this wasn't the best idea and perhaps I should have taken rest at this time. But again, it's all a learning process and I'm trying to get better at learning when my body needs to rest and when it needs to push. Then we were on to Friday and I felt so much more together and organized. After doing that journaling with Kirsten, it seemed to have a knock on effect maybe about a day later and I felt so much more centered and secure. Once again, I did the contemporary class in the morning instead of ballet. So I went and did a bar on my own. Felt so in the zone and concentrated. Whereas the day before, I kind of kept stopping every other exercise. But this one, I was able just to completely focus and be present throughout the whole class. Then I got the train home, a nice four or five hour journey. And I taught a class on Saturday morning and I was feeling so happy to be home. I hadn't seen my family in a while and we were celebrating my brother's birthday. It was a much needed time of rest and recovery. And after working so hard on my mindset this week, I felt like it was a perfect way to finish off this video. Sunny. So guys, a few days later, I'm actually currently in Nottingham on tour at the moment. I completed the, the challenge last week. I feel like it's one of those things that you'd have to do for a few weeks to really see or feel the results of. It's given me a lot to think about. It's given me mental tools that I'm definitely going to take away and use again. I think just like physical keys. Oh, make sure you spot when you turn or make sure you put your arm to your belly button instead of here because it's going to throw your weight back. Those are physical keys and now I have some mental keys like when you feel overwhelmed, just try and like write a list and be a bit more comprehensive. I think they're really going to help me moving forwards in my career. So I want to give Kirsten a big thanks for helping me out with this video, providing her advice and her wisdom for letting me just try this out for a week. I feel so privileged to have had this opportunity. Guys, make sure to go and subscribe to her. I will link all her channel description. Channel description? I'll link her channel and everything in the description down below. It's definitely something I want to do more of. And if you guys would prefer me to try maybe a 30 day trial, um, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of this video. Are there any mindset keys that you use or things you might take away from this video for your life? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, big thanks to Kirsten. I really appreciate it and also, Dream big and make it happen.